Everyone, we gotta talk about Jake Paul because this man is so confusing and so irritating and just every single word that I could use to describe someone that infuriates me would be Jake Paul. You know what I mean? Are we all in the same boat with that? Possibly. So everyone, as we know, Jake Paul's mansion was raided by the FBI. They had a search warrant and they went through it and they took out many weapons. Now, a lot of people we're speculating on what these weapons were for, why they were just sitting out, like they were propped against hot tubs, they were just lying out, which is so dangerous considering they have parties here every night and it just takes like that one person to... You know what I mean. Okay, anyway. So anyway, everyone started speculating on whether there were other things that were taken and why they had a search warrant and basically people were just very confused and people were jumping to conclusions People were like, I have this piece of evidence, let's go off this, and a lot of people were coming to me, and they were like, Adam, here's this, talk about this. And I was like, no, I made a couple videos talking about this Jake Paul situation, and everything I talked about was public knowledge at that time. And I'm aware I haven't talked about it as much as people probably want, but because it's like an FBI search warrant, we don't have much information. Well, Jake Paul actually broke his silence and spoke up about this, and... In a now deleted video, which is now all over social media, people have been sending it to me everywhere, being like, Adam, watch this. I have not watched this, literally since people sent it to me at the start. So, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, so it's completely blanked in my head as well. So, we're watching this from a fresh basis, you know what I mean? But we gotta get into this, because the only thing I can remember was he circled around everything. Which, in Jake Paul fashion, is the norm, apparently. Which is so weird to do whenever you have a platform and an audience and your house is just being raided uh, by the FBI and they find weapons and probably other stuff that they haven't showed us because the only reason we knew this was because TMZ, I think we're flying over with a helicopter and saw it. Like, isn't it that bad? That's the reason we knew. TMZ. So we're gonna watch this and then we're gonna talk. And keep in mind, this is Jake Paul breaking his silence from this and it wasn't even just like they raided and they took stuff. They raided him. Like, the amount of, like, military, like, fucking jeeps that went past. Like, there was a video that I reacted to in my other videos about Jake Paul that you really need to go watch for a little bit of context because it was insane. Even Jeffree Star was getting involved. Well, he gets involved with everything, but I mean, he was getting involved in being like, my neighbors are crazy because there were so many trucks and stuff, and it's just like, this is how he responds to it. This is someone who has a platform. This is someone who has a younger audience following. <sighs> Let's get to it. The FBI raid is entirely related to the Arizona looting situation that had happened, and it is an investigation. There are rumors about it having to do with so many other things that have nothing to do with me or my character, and the shit that people are making up is absolutely absurd. But with that being said, when I become aware of someone around me who is doing malicious things, they are immediately cut out of my life. I don't put up with bullshit. I don't surround myself with bad people. And if someone does something bad, they will be removed from my life. My goal right now is to continue to focus on myself, boxing, music. The fight got moved from September 12th to November 28th. I couldn't be more determined and ready for that fight. It's gonna be one of the biggest moments of trade. The FBI raid. What, is it gonna ship them? Anyways. So let's all take a moment. Okay, okay, okay. The FBI raid is entirely related to the Arizona looting situation. Looting situation. If you remember, Jake Paul and his friends started looting inside a shopping mall and that video leaked ages ago. And everyone was like, just this privileged white dude going in and breaking and stealing stuff that was going to then get the black community in more trouble by the FBI. But this privileged ass man went in smashing stuff and stealing stuff and fucking- The video was there! The video proof is right there on what happened. But only the police won't say, Aw, oh, it was Jake Paul, it was this white dude. You know what they're gonna do? You know what they're going to do. They're going to blame it on the black community who are protesting. Not the white community who are protesting. Because we're seeing the videos of all the whites Looting. They don't have an issue with that. They have an issue with the black community doing it. So the fact he's like, oh yeah, it was just to do with the looting situation. Like, even at that, this is how you're like, defending yourself. That's not good either. So the fact that then, okay, so apparently this was because of the looting situation and they found all of this stuff. 
How are you gonna come on here and be like, guys? It was just to do with that. It was just to do with the looting situation. It happened, and it is an investigation. There are it is an investigation. He's so spaced out here as well. I mean, what more do we expect? But this is your comeback, like addressing everything. You're spaced out. Nice. I can't at the fact that he's coming on here and being like, yeah, guys, it's just an investigation for me looting. Just letting y'all know. They still find all of that stuff. You know what I mean? All them weapons. That doesn't take away from the fact that it was just an investigation about the looting because they took stuff. Rumors about it having to do with so many other things. Tell us then. There's rumors about it doing with what? That's how you know there's some factual stuff in there, in my opinion. Allegedly. The fact he's not even going into the details on there's rumors about it being like this and like this and like this. No, he's saying there's rumors about it being like everything, dude. If you want to debunk them, this is your opportunity. Why are you just being like, ah, oh, there's rumors about it being about everything, dude? No. That's how it makes me believe that there's some truth in the things people are saying. Is that I have nothing to do with me or my character. Nothing to do with him or his character. Okay, Jake Paul as the character and the person. Not a good person, not a good character. So it's obvious why people are making the connection. Right? Let me ask the audience. And the shit that people are making up is absolutely absurd. But with Absurd, y'all. It's absolutely absurd. But I'm not gonna debunk it. I'm not gonna say that it's false. I'm not gonna say that's false. That's false. I'm just gonna say, dog, everything's false. Ah. You know what I mean? You look like a liar. I can't believe this is his, like, statement. That being said, when I become aware of someone- Oh, this part's so good. Around me who is doing malicious things, they are immediately cut out of my life. I Huh. So when Jake Paul, Jake Paul, by the way, is aware of people in his life doing malicious things, they're immediately cut off. We have to fucking laugh. He's literally lying in his statement back. What the fuck? That's just like a straight up lie, and it gets worse. I don't put up with bullshit. He doesn't put up with bullshit. I don't surround myself with bad people. He doesn't surround himself with bad people. Hey, Jake, who did you marry last year? Tana Mojo is the answer if you don't know. But guys, he doesn't surround himself with bad people. Just good vibes, good vibes. What is this? I don't know what that is. Good vibes, good vibes. And if someone does something bad, they will be removed from my life. My Bullshit! These people surround themselves with a bunch of yes men. It's like bad people they surround themselves with, but they're yes men, so they'll never be cut off. My goal right now is to continue to focus on myself. Which is why you're going out to parties. Boxing, music, the fight got moved from September 12th. No one cares November about these stupid YouTuber fights. I'm so sorry. Fight. No one gives a shit. No one's watching. FBI no one wants to see them. Everyone knows this publicity because your YouTube channel's dying and you make no money off of YouTube. And y'all can't even come for me for that statement because he literally had a paparazzi thing yesterday where he was like, I make no money on YouTube, whatever. I'm gonna make an entire video on that because I'm so angry about that and the way he treats the community because he just left. I'll get into that. He's not the victim. He's not the fucking victim as Gabby would say. Sorry, Gabby would say he is the victim, but you know what I mean? How are you gonna perpetrate that you're the victim in everything when it's clear you're not? And especially the fact he's running with this narrative that YouTube never cared about him anymore. From a point of view of YouTube, in no way to defend YouTube, sorry. This is two videos now I've defended them as a company. I really shouldn't. Thanks for paying my bills, YouTube. YouTube will not actively promote someone continuously if they continuously go against them. Go do your fight. Go make your fucking money that way. So you gotta stick around for what my subscribers are saying because they're going in. So I said opinions on Jake Paul finally addressing in a now deleted post the FBI raid and then attach that video. So let's get into it. So Amanda said, let me get this straight. I didn't do anything bad worse than other Americans, but if I did, I didn't associate it with anyone. Yeah, everyone's just calling him out for the hypocrisy. Patrick said, I don't surround myself with bad people. Baby girl, you are the bad people. Peppermint said, I don't surround myself with bad people. 
marries Toonie Mango. <laughs> Link has said the fact that people like Jake Paul have a platform to spread their bad behavior on and influence kids is absolutely absurd to me. Meme said, I don't deal with BS. Fam, that's literally your entire character on online, offline, Persona. Jamie said, as an Arizona person, he can stay out of our state. Strawberry milk is my mood and aesthetic. Nice. Said, why do people idolize this person and give this idiot a platform? Why do we let this happen? Lyrical Mastermind 2 said, why would the FBI raid your house and take all of your weapons on a theft investigation? They have footage of him doing it. They could have already pressed charges with that alone. I think something else is going on, which is very clear because there were videos of him looting came out on the day he did it. Why now? But hey, run with your narrative, Jake Paul. Fart poo. Nice name. Love my subscriber's opinions. For some reason, I don't believe it at all. It's just a gut feeling that he's lying. Alexandra said, I want to know what they went looking for in that house. Yeah, we don't know if their aim was to find weapons. Maybe they just found them. Fuel Addiction said, hmm, I guess applause for actually addressing something. He then deleted it. <laughs> but from a legal standpoint, shut up. Let your lawyers make a statement regarding the case that's still in progress. Amanda said, um, he was hanging out with a dirtbag. He didn't know that. He's not fooling anyone. He's probably just happy people are talking about him. Worry said, a shit ton of weapons got pulled from his house and the FBI doesn't raid someone over suspected looting. He put himself and a shit ton of people at risk because of COVID and now the FBI. Kind of dumb with his BS. Brooklyn said, I honestly don't even know why he has a platform because he is so toxic I'm honestly just over him. Demon Deer said, Jake, you yourself have done bad things. Maybe it's time you take a break from the internet and look into your own character because if you truly do cut bad people out of your life, then you must be blind to yourself. If you cut out bad people, you also need to get a better grip on yourself, look in the mirror once in a while. So to sum up my opinion, yikes. Jasmine said, how can he shame people saying they shouldn't make assumptions on this situation? What? Are we supposed to ignore his past actions and all of his scandals he's been in while he's done all of this behavior? Five FBI trucks drove up to his house with no appeal or explanation. People are obviously going to speculate given the type of person he is. He still acts like a little boy and will never step up. But good luck with your fight, Jake. Hi, how are you? Said he's not just surrounding himself with bad people, cause he is the bad people. Propel said the FBI would only bother with the looting charges if stolen items were brought over state lines, which probably happened, but they wouldn't raid his house and take most likely illegal weapons with a whole SWAT force, something bigger is happening that he either won't tell us or can't legally. Shady shit. We'll read out one more. So Brad, I don't know, said, but what about the weapons? He didn't say anything about them. There were multiple weapons lying around and one was by a hot tub. Also, dude, if you want to cut out the bad people in your life, then what are you going to do when you realize you're a bad person? And it's just like, I can't take him seriously at all. Like there's no growth that he's shown throughout his time on any platform. None. So why does he continue to have a platform? Because people are like, oh, these people shouldn't have platforms. Ah, okay. What are we going to do about it? We're talking about it. What are we going to do? These are the celebrated creators. This is a celebrated creator. Jake Paul is a celebrated creator. Think about that. How dangerous is that? This is someone you go to VidCon and can meet. This is someone, you know what I mean? This is like a YouTuber. What happened to sitting in your bedroom and filming videos and fucking like being a YouTuber? Like fuck. Guys, what's your opinion on this? I'm like stunned. You know, let me know. I'll see you. Bye bye. I can't. I can't. I literally can't.